Tony. <sighs> Aren't we forgetting something? Mm. Mm. Tony. Tony. Watch your eyes. Jeez. I'm sorry. <laughs> what are you doing? I can't find the damn things anyway. I'm going to run across the street and get some more. That's crazy. Last time we had a whole box. Check the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Place is like a black hole. I can't find them anywhere. Yeah? What are you thinking? Nothing. Listen, why don't we um, just go to sleep? I'm gonna run across the street. I know they're here somewhere, but it'd be quicker if I ran over there and got some. Okay, fine. Turn out the lights before you go, okay? I'll be right back.
on, guys, be careful with that, will you? Uh-huh. Well, you, you seem to want to know an awful lot of information. I mean, if this is so, some sort of religious thing, uh, I'm really not interested. No, no, well, spiritual guidance is nice, but uh, I'm literally lost. Okay, well, you seem to be, um, you seem to be pretty close, so I could just come over? Okay. Okay, thank you. Disturbing anything. Not at all, Mr. O'Neill. I've been expecting you. Please, sit down. Please, sit here. My name is Shaw. Yeah, I spoke to you on the phone. That's correct. So, uh, who's the lucky girl? Corinne, of course. Who do you think it is? Oh, yeah, Corinne? Oh, come on, I thought you guys were, like, washed up, finished, kaput. Hey, Frank, you see my watch anywhere? What are you talking about, kaput? No, Tony, I haven't seen your watch. Do me a favor, keep an eye out for it, will you? It's around here somewhere. I'm always keeping an eye out for your stuff. Your stuff is all over the place. Tony, when are you gonna keep an eye out for your stuff? I give up. Hey, Kev, it's hopeless, Frank. Forget about the watch, huh? Come on. Uh, I'm looking for something else. You yeah, haven't seen Corinne in weeks. I hear you two are barely talking anymore. Hey, how do you know about that? Corinne's a friend of mine, too, you know. Based on the information you gave me, I had an assistant do a quick draft of your chart. <clears throat> my chart? Hmm. Partly astrological, but my methods include other information as well, and are more scientific than most. Nevertheless, charts are limited and must be supplemented by more direct observation. Do you mind? Uh, well? Some look for information in the palm, but I find much more is revealed in the eyes. And so, Mr. O'Neill, if you will, please look directly into my eyes. This is exactly into what I had in mind. Eyes. Thank you, Mr. O'Neill. Holy... What the hell is that? It's a ring. What do you think it is? Nice rock. Where'd you get the dough for this? I got money. Yeah? Well, most of the money you got, you owe me. So I don't think I want to know about this. Say, that's not what I think it is, is it? Well, it depends. What do you think it is? Corinne's not going to appreciate being ambushed by an engagement ring, Tony. Thanks for the moral support. You lighten up, Tony. Yes, I believe I have several devices here that may be of service to you. Let's begin with the most obvious. As you say your problem is losing things. Hmm. Ah. These glasses will allow you to find the things you have lost. Oh, yeah? How? 
Well, that is protected information, Mr. O'Neill, and irrelevant in your case. Just think of them as a focal point for your energies. Try them on. Okay. So now what? Oh, please, Mr. O'Neill, you must have patience. In the past, our subjects have required much practice and several visits to achieve satisfactory results. Okay, so what do you want me to do? Try to look at it from Corinne's point of view. Corinne's a businesswoman. Marriage to her is yeah, it's a business deal. Now I know why you're not married. Ever think about romance? Uh, look, I'm, I'm as romantic as the next guy, but, but marriage is a contract and it's legal stuff and, and licenses. Corinne's gonna think twice before she makes a kind of deal with somebody who's unstable. Hey, listen. No offense, I don't mean mentally unstable, which you sort of are. What I'm talking about is more emotionally unstable, which is okay because you're an artist. I, I guess what I really mean is, is, is emotionally immature. It's, it's that you're Im Im immature, yeah, Tony. Wait, shut up! I've had enough. Sorry. You're probably right, I'm probably the last guy in the world that anybody would want to marry. Besides, look at me. I mean, look at you. You're getting what? old. <laughs> you know, I started thinking what my life would be like without Corinne, and I, I gotta tell you, it scared the hell out of me. Thanks. So it was like a turning point. I, I made a decision, you know? Keep him, I got 10,000 just like I'm in today. Thanks. Hey guys, we going or what? Yeah, you ready? Oh. Yeah, I'm ready. You ready? You coming? No, I gotta finish this up. And then, uh, I got a big night. I remember, yeah. All right, well, good luck. Congratulations. All right. I'll nice. see ya. Sorry, Frank. Hey! Thanks. First, we must clear your mind. I want you to breathe very slowly. may seem difficult at first. You must soothe your brain. Think no thought. Now I want you to picture an object in your mind. Something you have recently lost. Picture that object in your mind. Keep the rest of it. Much practice is required before you are able to use them fully. Anthony, St. Anthony, please come around. Something's lost that can't be found. I need your eyes, St. Anthony. Damn it! 
It is important that you believe the object will be shown in the glasses. Only then can it be seen. Oh, here, please. You know, there are some subtle techniques you can learn that make them even more powerful than they first appear. Yeah, so you got me interested. How much? They are not for sale. Oh, oh, wait a minute, no. Then why'd you show them to me? I mean, what's the point? But in your case, Mr. O'Neill, other arrangements might be made. We are living in a time when science and mysticism are converging on a path to God. These are powerful times, exciting times, dangerous times. These glasses have had very limited testing with laymen. The tests we have made have shown some adverse effects. More testing will be required. You can provide us with a service in exchange for their use. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Just not following it, that's all. Anyway, so the guy says to me, no way he'll go elsewhere. I say, fine. If he can find it at 12, good luck. I sweated for 15 minutes, but I knew he'd come back. He must have swallowed a lot of pride to do it, though. So, you got the deal? Mm-hmm. How much is it worth? Probably made the bank about two million. Ask you something. <clears throat> have you, uh, have you been seeing anybody else? What are you talking no, about? No, I, I, I haven't seen you in a while, you know? I'm just wondering. Tony. I'm not interested in anyone else. But you know, you're not the easiest guy to get along with. And I don't like feeling stifled. You know, it's not like we're married or anything. Well, what's wrong with married? Come on, Tony, don't spoil it. Come on. What, you're never getting married? I know there's a wife and a mom under all that career crap. You can't fool me. Give me a break. Wait a minute. Well, let's pretend we just had this beautiful candlelit dinner with a bottle of wine and Stars are out, and, uh... Well, you're gonna have to use your imagination on this, but... I pull out this gorgeous ring, and I... and I... and I'm on bended knee, and I say, Corinne, will you... will you marry me? What'd you say? I mean, hypothetically speaking, Tony, what would you say? Tony, get up. Really? What would you say? Well, I'd... I'd say I'd think about it. Hey, I've got a great idea. Why don't we skip the movie? I've got to get up early. You can just go back to your place. We can get comfy. We can cuddle. And if you're very good, I'll undress you. And if you're very, very good, you can undress me. What do you say? I'd say I have to think about it. <laughs> 
sure if I like the idea of being a guinea pig, but uh, yeah, I suppose I could make you some neon. This place could use a little perking up. I'm afraid there will be some formalities. Well, let me try one more time. It's Corinne's ring. It's amazing. It's unbelievable. I, I can see the ring, but, but how do I know where to find it? Concentrate. Ask the glasses. It's unbelievable. It's my jacket. These things are magic. Not really. Just extremely high technology. But how do I know they're right? Investigate. But I guarantee the object will be where the glasses indicate. Listen, I really hate asking this, but what you do with the zapper? I gotta test this thing. I put it over there. I just used it a couple of minutes ago. No, no, no. Under the black filing cabinet. Yeah, un no, underneath it. Right where you're looking. That's right. It's an interesting place to keep it, you know? Nice specs, by the way. Very chic. Listen, I, I was thinking about coming by and uh, picking up a few things. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Don't start with me now, please. Really, I just, I'm going to come by tomorrow and I just thought I'd give you a buzz. Okay. No, I don't, don't, don't start with me now, mother. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye.
father lives a thousand miles away and he visits me more than you do. I swear to God, I don't know how I ever raised someone so irresponsible. It's your father's fault, I guess. You know something, you remind me of him sometimes. Oh, Tony, I worry about you all the time. I'm wondering when, you, when you're gonna grow up and start behaving like an adult. I am growing up, Ma. I am a goddamn adult. You see that? You see that profanity to your mother? You're not as good as you think, you know. I know more than you think. gonna do with all this junk? If it had been up to me, I'd have thrown it out years ago. Who's gonna help me fix up the attic now you've torn it all apart? Tony, you have got to learn some responsibility. Where'd you get the car? <laughs> Frank lent it to me. I gotta get it back to him right now. How do you get these people to put their faith in you? I'll never know. You know, you're just like your father. Yeah, I know, and I don't want to end up like him. That's why I'm leaving. Blaming me! Always blaming me! Call me when you get home! I find everything. Look at these glasses. They help me find things. Those are pretty funky. I, I, I put them on. I, I think of something I lost, and, and then I can see it. I see it in the glasses. <laughs> yeah? Here, try them on. Careful. Now, how do I look? Dynamite. Now, think of something you lost. A long time ago, recently, anything. Well, if I tell you, does it spoil the wish? It doesn't matter. It just, I just need you to concentrate. Concentrate. Think of what you lost. Come on. Give it a shot. Please. <clears throat> Concentrate. Concentrate on what you lost. Oh, my God. This is incredible. I never thought I'd see that again. What? What, what, what did you see? My virginity, look! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this is serious. This is not a joke. I, everything in this room I found in these glasses. We'll look at them later, okay? I'm sorry. 
We gotta talk. Yeah, okay. Uh, let me just put on some music. So anyway, I'm sorry about the other night. Oh, forget it. No problem. It's just that I, I was a little shook up. I mean, I got the feeling that you kind of have met that proposal you made. <sighs> Tony, do you think you're ready? When am I ever going to be ready? I mean, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Do you think we're ready? Tony, maybe we should take it easy for a while. I've been thinking that it might be a good idea if we both started seeing other people. Who do you want to see? Nobody. Nobody in particular. That's not the point. The point no, no, is... No, no, I... no, I get it, I get it. I got but I, I can't find my Beethoven's ninth in here. I don't know what to do. What? My Elvis Costello. I have five Elvis Costells. Now I don't have any. Tony, what's the point? The hips are missing. I don't know. Well, the point is, I'm going to find them right now. Tony, will you forget about the damn records? Just a second. Tony. I said just a second. That bastard. He's got all my records. My tapes. He's got my tapes that. Oh, they're out of the cases. I don't believe this. Tony? Corinne, I gotta go to Kevin's right now. What are you talking about? Very important, I gotta go to Kevin's right now. We have got things to talk about right now. Yeah, I know, but I can't talk about it right now because this is very important. I want you to wait here, please. Oh, you have got to be kidding. No, I'm not kidding! Tapes get ruined when they're out of their cases like this. It's a one-of-a-kind tape, and I recorded this myself. What? Hey, what is your problem, man? So what, where do you get off taking people's things and ruining them? I didn't take anything. You loaned me that stuff. Well, it was so long ago, I hardly remember. You ever think about returning them? Tony, look, I just made a fresh batch of martinis. Why don't you sit down and calm down a little bit? What are you doing? You got a bunch of my albums. I don't have your albums. You, like, you can't come barging into my house and messing everything up. They don't lie to me. I saw them in the glasses. So what? What are you talking about? It's got my name on it. Yeah, you got a bunch great. of my records. I, I'm taking them back, every one of them. Great, great. Take your records and get out of my house. Bag for this stuff? Hey, and if you got any of my other stuff, don't hold out on me because I got ways of knowing. Is that right? That's right. So you done? You sure? Look, look, look. Take it easy now. What's the problem? What's going on? Come on. I think there's something wrong with Corinne. 
You think there's something wrong with Corinne? Yeah, she's been acting real strange. Wait a minute, wait a minute. She's been acting strange? Look at this. You've been acting strange. I'm just a little worried about her, that's all. Look, Corinne's fine. I was on a phone with her this afternoon. She's great. It's you I'm worried about. You spoke to her? <laughs> yeah, I talked to her today. What were you guys talking about? Nothing. We just talked. No, no, no. What were you talking no, about? No, nothing. I said nothing. What were we... we talked about you a little bit? Well, you know, I don't think I want you talking to her. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What is that supposed to mean? I just said I don't want you talking to you her, You can't right? be telling me who to talk to. Corinne is my friend, too. Yeah, but I don't want you talking to her. I don't want you telling me who to talk to. No, you stay away from her. You hear me? You don't... Look, she's my friend, too, and I'll talk to her as fucking much as I want to. Now, you get out of my house, take your shit, and blow. You stay away from me. I'm you telling hear me? you to leave. I'm you telling me? you to get out. I'm leaving. You get stay out. away. From me. Stay away from me. I'll talk to you when you're rational. I'm, I'm not joking. kidding you. Hello. Oh, hi, Corinne. Hi, yeah. Uh, yeah, he was here. Yeah, something's wrong. I don't know. Something radically. No, I didn't mention the ring. What have you got? No, no, I'll, I'll take care of this. Welcome, Mr. Collins. I'm way behind schedule today, so if you don't mind, we'll get right down to business. Is there something wrong with the copy my assistant gave you? No, no, the copy's fine. Um, you should have everything mm -hmm. but the newsletter by next week. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, the matches were on time. Uh, I mean, we did deliver them. And uh, what is this emergency? I already checked that. The H is out. Where the hell have you been? The Jenkins order is due tomorrow. Don't you remember? You got my stuff? Jeez. Oh, it's over in a box. And remind me never to borrow anything from you again. It's all here? Of course it's all there. Who cares about that crap that I care about? It. See Corinne lately? No. The two of you are very inaccessible. She's not at work. I gotta go find her. Whoa, wait a second. Oh, no. We got a big order to fill. I gotta go. Where are you going? Wait a minute. Tony, get back here. What is it? Is he hallucinating? Is he actually seeing things in the glasses? That is partially true, but these are very complicated matters. And well, you are not Think of them as a placebo. You were supposed to help him, and as far as I can tell, you've screwed him up royally. Now, I want to bring Tony back here, and I want you to explain this all to him, and I want you to stop this stupid, selfish experiment of yours. Mr. Collins, please, calm yourself. Look, you haven't seen him. You don't know what's going on. As you wish, Mr. Collins. Rest assured, after tomorrow, the experiment is ended. Good. That's what I wanted to hear. And uh, now, if you will excuse me, I have a very important business engagement, so if you don't mind, you'll be hearing from me. This is Corinne Carver. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave a message, I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Thank you. Corinne, uh, it's me. Yeah, listen, um, look, I'm really s sure you're here, sick of hearing these uh, messages, but look, it's very important that, I, that I, I talk to you today. I've been looking all over for you, and I, I, I gotta talk to you, so it's, please call me. Please call me right back as soon as you get in. It's very important. Please. Please. Where is she? Get, where Get is she? Get your hands off of me. Corinne, where are you? I know you're in here. You are nuts. 
You're crazy. Shut up, traitor. She was here. I saw her in the glass. I'm sick of this. Stop with the glasses. The glasses are a fake. You don't know anything about them. I know everything about them. I know you got them from one of my clients, a weird little ball guy named Shaw, right? I went and talked to him, Tony. He tells me he hypnotized you into thinking that you could see things in them. It's not a trick. It's not. I, I, I see things, and then, I, and then I go look for them, and they're exactly where I saw them. Oh, yeah? You saw Corinne in them, didn't you? You see Corinne now? Where's Corinne, Tony? You swear to me she wasn't here. I swear to you, she's not here and she hasn't been here. Tony, look, we can take care of it. I understand. But the glasses really work. I'll prove it to you. Listen to me. Let's go talk to Shaw, you and me, together, okay? Come on, Tony. He'll explain this to you. He'll straighten you everything lost them. out. I just use them. They must be at my place. I gotta go find him. Tony, wait a minute. I gotta wait, go. Take it easy. Where the hell have you been? Where do you get off with you hanging on an order like this? Who are they? Get off of me! Ten hours work you just wasted. What the hell's the matter with you? What the hell's the matter with you? I'll break it! What do you want? What are you doing? Jenkins will never get his stuff down. Please come around. Tom is lost. It can't be found. Oh, poor man. I I, I warned him though. And he did sign the papers. Well, lots of work to do still. So much work. <laughs> <laughs>